Hi, this is Nikki and I'm here to share messages I get from spirit for all of us who are all on this journey to love and to reunite with our divine vibrational matches in this lifetime. And I am going to pull today from the Art of Love Tarot. So I'm going to pull three cards and then get some guidance from Rumi. So I'm going to pull what is going on with the energy on the divine counterpart side, what is going on between the two of us in the middle, and then what is going on with our energy on the other side. So for me, my twin contacted me this weekend and <clears throat> was asking whether <clears throat> to go to a music uh, gig together. Oh, so, um, of course, I would love to, but it's not something that... Um, it's, uh, yeah, so, no, I can't. <laughs> so, uh, I have to have that conversation again to say I can't be hanging out with you when you have a girlfriend. Which is, you know, round and round we go. So, here we go. So, I'm curious to see what the energies are. So, let's have a look. What do we need to know for this week? Let me put that up a bit. Um, what is going on at the moment with the on the left hand side with the divine counterpart so this is for them the energy is the eight of trees which is kind of like putting in the effort <laughs> putting in work um, honing your skill so um, that's interesting because last week we had the thing around do it, they were, had the creative energy about working on a project. We have the three of trees, which is dedication, which is definitely what we need for these connections. And then in the middle, between us, we have the energy of the five of trees. Oh my God. Look at that, all trees, 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 bringing down these connections from spirit into, into matter, um, using the spiritual connection to help us with these in the physical world. So I'm curious to see, because the five of trees is don't limit yourself, basically. Um, and it is this. In the light of the moon, the mystery of manifestation is depicted as a colourful cascade of stars. Oh no, sorry, that's five of stars. <laughs> five of trees we wanted. Five of trees. Here we go. This tree wants to grow beyond the borders of its image. It is restricted by its inability to move beyond imagined limitations. The five branches are searching for a freedom that already exists in the colours and the spirals that are reminiscent of a peacock showing it off its beautiful feathers to the world. Maybe things are not quite what they seem. Perhaps the perceived restriction is actually supporting the tree to greater freedom. When you focus on the stuff you love, the path of least resistance will reveal itself. Isn't that interesting? So... The five of trees indicates a loss of some type, an attempt to control outside forces or individuals has resulted in physical, emotional or spiritual chaos. <laughs> this bleak feeling is temporary. If you feel like you are stumbling around in the dark, just keep going on. Don't give up. This is a transition card. There is nothing you need to fix. It is time to move forward and it does not matter what has occurred or what you have done or have had done to you. Place your focus on the decisions you are making now. Turn a limitation to your advantage. You are strong and worthy. Wow, that is so interesting. Just as I say, what's been, what's happened over the week, for me over the weekend. So that energy reflects it perfectly because it's sort of like another, it's a loss again because having to say, look, no, I can't, um, I can't meet up with you, no, because, because, the situation is the situation and I have feelings for you and therefore I can't go and hang out and do things with you. So yes, very true. So there is dedication to yourself, right? What feels right for you could be different for everyone, but that's the whole point. We have to stand by our truth. So to help us do that, I am going to ask Rumi for some guidance. So let's have a little look. Let's ask Rumi for some guidance. 
here we go. And it is this. It is di <laughs> divine discontent. Oh my goodness, we had this the other day. So we've had the same cards coming through, which have been divine discontent and also the all-encompassing hand. So very, very, um, very connected messages. Uh, repeat messages, which are always much stronger. So winter falls upon us, so spring can bring new growth. Cry the tears, allow the longing, sadness brings surrender and a deep desire to be free. I know your heart. I hear it breaking and groaning in darkest night when you imagine yourself to be silently cast adrift in sleep. It speaks to me, that sacred heart of yours, whispering its longing and bemoaning its divine discontent. It knows when something is amiss. It senses that something is not quite right as yet. There is a piece of the puzzle missing. Even in its tremendous gratitude for all that is, and there is much gratitude and sweet appreciation in that precious heart of yours, there is a murmuring, a questing. It cries out to heaven, vouchsafe me a blessing. I cannot go on. I am broken and in need of your tenderness for healing. I am empty and in need of filling, not with stuff and bits, but with the most precious nectar of divine fulfillment. Nothing else will satisfy me. Please, please restore me to wholeness. I can bear this missing piece, this broken disarray no longer. I listen and I conjole that wise heart of yours. I praise it for its honesty and longing, for the longing is an irresistible perfume to the beloved, attracting the only sound that will soothe the divine discontent of your truth-speaking heart, that of divine presence, absolute and unquestionable. And the honouring ritual is <clears throat> saying out loud, Rumi, who loves me unconditionally, guide me now. I acknowledge the gratitude in my heart, genuine and fierce. And I acknowledge the hunger for the divine unfolding in my belly, the urging forward towards something unknown, indescribable, sacred, satiety. Guide me to the holy table where the true feast awaits. I am no longer satisfied by stale crumbs or the remnants of another's feast. I want a feast of the Holy One, the Great One, to know directly and for myself that I am divine. With your mercy, grace and wisdom, guide me there, dearest brother of my soul. I cast my soul into your care and follow my nose. <laughs> I follow my nose toward the sweetest scent of the Holy Feast. Rest or stand up and dance your prayer. Just be with your body and how it wants to be, to rest or move now. Whatever you choose, stay with your breath and with what feels truthful. And say aloud, I release that which is not worthy for my soul to feast upon. I do not decide this for myself from a place of distrust or judgment. I surrender my attachment and I trust in the sacred workings of life to present to me what is needed. I surrender. I surrender in sacred trust. I surrender. May my life be governed by love for the greatest good and in holy service to love now. So be it. Wow. So that is on uh, page 66, that honouring ritual. So I will read the letter 66 because route 66 and all routes lead to love. All roads lead to love. So um, <clears throat> let's have a look. 66. This is Divine Love Letter Books. All my books available on Amazon. And this is, oh, look at that. Opens at 66. So I want you, every single little part of you, every cell in your body and every thought in your head and feeling in your heart, have no doubt in your mind that we're on this journey together. We are so together in the heart. It's like we are locked together by an unbreakable blonde. Believe and know that this is true. I feel you. I feel me. I am you. You are me. Together we make each other who we are, one without the other, and we wouldn't exist. Know that the depths of this feeling is at the very heart of me, uncovering my soul and leading me back to you, the other part of me. I love you. I'm in love with you. I want you, all of you, every minute of every day. The yearning for our souls to be together again is felt like a drumbeat in my heart. A constant reminder that I'm being called to you. Believe in me, in us. Believe in true love. Okay. 
one, book two, <clears throat> is this. I want you to know that I truly, deeply, madly love you. And more than that, I am in love with you and everything about you. Every time I think about you, about us, about our life together, it gives me goosebumps and makes me feel giddy inside, like a child getting his favourite present. The sense of anticipation is just too much to bear. I love you with all my heart, knowing that we're going to come back together and have our chance at a ridiculously cool life. It's just beyond my wildest dreams. I'm counting down the seconds, counting my chickens that I have you, that we found each other, that we were created together in our own golden egg of creation. I love you. Okay. Next one. I wish that we could all be together. In fact, I wish that with all my heart. I want a magic one to make everything happen for us. I want to press the fast forward button to this time next year where we can all be together, celebrating and being thankful for the magical love that we share and for the beautiful family that we have created. It's just getting there. I wish that we were there now. Keep wishing upon the stars that our family will be united soon and our pathway to union will be smooth and as painless as possible for all involved. I'm thankful for having you as mine. Oh my goodness. Well, the message is to keep wishing on the stars, you know, keep believing, keep having faith and trust in your path. Keep having faith and trust that you're being guided uh, every time you tap into your intuition and ask to be taken on your highest and best path, trust that wherever that leads you, it's going to lead you the right way for you to be lit up. So I really hope that helps. If you would like to have a healing, a reading, a channeling, or to get these books to help you um, get messages from your twin to strengthen that sort of, you know, to strengthen that connection, to strengthen your intuition, great way to do that because through the letters you get increased synchronicities, incre increased messages, increased connection and allows you to move from that sort of place where you feel like it's all going crazy to a place of inner peace and calm. All right, I'll be back tomorrow with another video, but in the meantime, I hope you stay well, stay bright and stay switched on to the light. See ya, bye.